Sky House Craft with Izzy. Yeah! Hello, welcome to Lighthouse Great Missenden. This is our craft for the week. So today is Monday and you are either 7, 8 or 9, which is why you are watching this video. And for our craft today, we are going to be making a fish wobbler. So this is really exciting as our first craft of the week. And you have got your craft pack with loads of things in it. And you are looking for, mine was in an envelope, the one that's got a cut out fish and a bag of sequins and then some sea, oh, I'm dropping my sea creatures. I can't pick up my sea creatures. There we go. Sea creatures and a clear strip. So these are the things you are looking for today. And then also you need your PVA glue with your clean lolly stick that you are going to use as a glue spreader. So mine's not very clean because I've been using it. But yours will be lovely and clean. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to find your fish cut out. And you are going to place it. So the tail is on your right, the mouth is on your left. And this fin is down. We don't want it up. That's an upside down fish. The fin needs to be down. And you can decorate your fish with the sequins and the stickers. So I'm going to start with some green sequins and I'm going to place them onto my fish. Now the trick with sequins is that you only need a little bit of PVA. Otherwise it gets really, really messy really, really quickly. You might want to stick your sequins on in a pattern. You might want to stick your sequins on randomly. You might want to put a few on. You might want to put loads on. It's up to you how you decorate your fish. So I'm going to continue sticking these sequins on. And if you're doing this live with me, you might want to pause so that you can also get your sequins stuck on and then start again once your sequins are stuck. Okay, hopefully you have loved sticking your sequins on. Here is my completed fish. Yours is probably going to be a lot neater. I've just done mine very, very quickly. But he has no eye yet, so let's have a think. So in your pack, you will have a googly eye. And we can peel him that off and stick it onto where his eye would go. So it's going to be just above his mouth. And he already looks a bit more like a fish. Now you put him sort of to one side because also in your pack you have got a strip of what looks like clear plastic and he's got two sticky patches. You're going to peel off the end of one of those. So peel off the bit of paper and stick that onto the back of your fish. So he's hanging the right way up. So there we go, so I've stuck mine on and he's hanging. So this is what's going to make him hang and wobble. But it's not very fun just seeing the plastic, so let's decorate that as well. So you've also got some sea creatures. So I've got a fish and I've got a turtle. I'll pick them up. And again, using my PVA, I'm going to glue my fish and my turtle onto my acetate strip. It might be easier to put the glue onto the strip than onto the sea creature. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of leftover glue or some messy glue. And then you can put as much on. You might want to create some of your own sea creatures to put on. And I've also got a sticker. So I'm going to put my sticker. I've got a whale. If I can gently peel him off. Oh, he's not wanting to come off. There we go. I'm going to stick him at the bottom where my fin is. Let me turn it around. There we go. So, I have got my fish. And when you've talked to your adult, 
and you've decided where you want him to hang, you can peel off this top sticky pad and stick it somewhere so that he then hangs down and might wobble in the wind. Have fun making him and I look forward to seeing your creations. Oh, <laughs>